Inside this portable garage is our 2280 BH ESP, our pop-up camper. But before I take it out, I've got to do something else. I bought a trailer dolly. So I've got to assemble it first. Now, let me tell you why I bought it. You see this? It's in front of that. That is a sewage cover, you know, for a storage tank. And I can't run over that with the van. So when I come in to get the camper with the van, I have this awkward angle. So somebody on Facebook groups posted a picture of a trailer dolly. I have never seen one before. Of course, the trailer dolly. So I'm gonna use our trailer dolly to pull the camper out a distance and get it lined up properly before I attach the van. And then I'll be able to pull it into the yard. This is our camping spot and start working on it. I've got to seal the roof. There are leaks everywhere. So before I finish putting this together, I want to make the ball higher. Also, the ball is a one and seven eighths ball. So I bought a two inch ball, which is what my camper uses. But this is the cheap dolly. It'll work just fine, but it's really short. And I don't want the nose of the camper leaning forward because it puts more weight on the dolly. So I'm gonna see how high I need to make this. And I bought some nice raw steel I can use to make it the height I need it. So let's get this open and see what we got. So this is Harbor Freight's finest. Actually, I think it might be their only one. <laughs> 65 bucks. So this is the part in question. Is it tall enough? Let's check. Total height to the top of the ball is probably about 14 inches. So I'm down here thinking about like welding metal up here, right? Just like some kind of box come up and mount the ball on top. My nine-year-old daughter takes one look at the cover and she goes, why don't you just chop the top off and pull the whole thing up and section in? Genius. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> She's a smart girl. Nothing like chopping up a perfectly good brand new tool, right? <laughs> I don't think there'll be a return after this. So now in theory, I should be able to bend these up a little bit and change the angle of this thing and then weld it onto these flanges. We'll see. Hopefully I don't break anything. Seems to bend real easy. So I'm cutting off 12 inches twice. 12 inch pieces I'm ready to go see ta-da so I just measured again to the center of like where the ball would be by the grace of God it's 22 inches exactly what I just cut here <laughs> so I'm gonna weld this up I gotta do some cleaning and then welding and then some supporting and then we'll put it together. So I'm putting on my long sleeves, I'll tell you why. Last time I did a project, I actually got what basically a sunburn from the welder. I didn't realize radiation comes off of a welder exactly like the sun. My arm was burned pretty good. So I'm covering up. I got gloves, my helmet, long sleeves. No, I just ran out of wire. <laughs> Trip to Home Depot. Got the wire. 
All right, it's next day. I ran to Home Depot, but it was late when I got home, so I closed up shop temporarily. But I was able to find not just one, but two rolls of welding wire. All right, so now I just gotta let this cool off and then I'll do the rest of the assembly of the unit. And then I think I have to weld a piece between here maybe for strength so it doesn't flex. And then there's a piece that goes from the handle out to this that I may have to extend. All right, hardware. Look at how tall that is now, huh? <laughs> Oh yeah, hole here, bolt there. All right, now we need to bend here. All right, doing the final fitment of this piece. So that's pretty great, question is, when I tighten it all up, will it have enough strength left right or will that trailer just twist it and topple it? So I think I really need to add a brace right here. All right, I'm just gonna do this by hand. Tack weld it. That's it. Woo! Franken trailer dolly. It actually didn't turn out too bad. I'm good with that. I think it's gonna work great. Come on. One way to make this thing a lot stronger would be to weld up all of these seams. But this handle metal is really cheap pop metal. It would probably blow out real easy. So we'll start with bolts. We'll add steel if we need to. I'm impressed. The wheels actually have dual set of bearings. I don't know how good they are, but I didn't expect that. Cotter pin installed. Gotta bend it out. Okay. All right. One of the most critical parts. We gotta put the ball on. I hope this works. Getting around in the yard. Hopefully the ground is solid enough and it doesn't sink in. <laughs> what a funny modification. I think I'm close. Oh yeah. That's got her. How funny. <laughs> All right. Now we just gotta test it out. Look at that, perfect. The height is great. I just gotta lift the nose up a little bit, slip this under, and we'll attempt to pull this out. But before I begin, I gotta clean out this shed, clear the way, and see if I can move it. So this year I'm a little more worried than other years. I put a little mouse poison down in here, and last year not a single drop of mouse poop anywhere. However, this year, I stored a mattress up on top of the pop-up, it's covered in mouse poop and there's piles of mouse poop under the camper and there were some blankets up here. They were covered in mouse poop. So I'm worried about what I'm going to see when I open up the camper. All right, so I've emptied out the shed. As you can see, there's piles of stuff everywhere. And now we just got to jack this up try out the new Franken dolly. Oh, look at that. Hope I can get out once I load it. Will it be strong enough? No. Looks like no. That feels like a lot more nose weight than I thought it would be. I think at this point I'd be amazed if these axles held up to the weight. All right, I put the wheel on in case this collapses. 
it's a lot heavier than I thought it was. The tongue weight. This is a 600 pound limit. And this is only supposed to be a 300 pound tongue weight. Feels heavier. F these tires. Oh! Why is it so hard to move? All right. So, all right, so I put down a jack stand in the back during winter storage and I forgot. Might have bent it. All right. Oh, what a huge difference. When you're not dragging a jack stand, it makes a big difference. Except now it's heavy. Come on, baby. Let me know if I'm gonna trip on that. I need somebody to pull. We're stuck on that lip. Pull! Yes! Look at him, Mom. We did it, we did it! Woo! <laughs> We're out! That's deadly. On the outside, it doesn't look like the camp is damaged. No, you can't tell till we get inside. We won't know yeah, if there's the mouse damage till we get inside. Hey, Frank and Dolly held up. Woo! All right, van's next. Yeah. So it doesn't hit the ground. We're gonna set it up and see if any mice got inside. So I'm gonna open it, inspect it. If it's clear, it's good. I'm gonna close it back up and start working on all of this hardware on the roof, removing it and resealing it. This is gonna be replaced soon. All right, open it, look inside. Any mouse poop? It doesn't look like it. Mouse poop? Any mouse poop? I don't see any. Oh, I don't think so. It looks clean? I think so. Yeah! High five! I think so. Keep going. I so let me show you real quick what I'm trying to fix. In the front and the back on this side, I have wood that's rotting right here. Now it's not as obvious right now because it's dried out, but right here was all black at the end of last year. And you could see the water coming in from the top. And it was on, and it was on this side too. Yeah, you can see it better here. Black rotting wood. The wood was separating, it was soft. The wood elsewhere, no, but on this side, front and back, even with the camper level and the humped roof, both sides, and what I think it is, is this rail right here the top rail I think it's leaking because that's the only way I can understand how water is getting in the front and the back because because it's domed so water's running this way and this way that's why I decided to reseal the entire roof and then this season should be a really good season hopefully my son doesn't wake up with water dripping on his head at 2 a.m and he curls up in a little ball to get out from under the water. <laughs> but hey, look at this. We are mouse poop free. All right, let the work begin. Whew. So Frank and Dolly is a success. It worked. It allowed me to get the pop-up out of the shed with some effort and clear of the obstacle so I could put the van on it and pull it into the yard safely. All right, so that's all I got. Be safe this season. Have a wonderful camping season 2021, and we'll see you next video.